Maths. Oh. We'll try that again. Maths. Yay! Not. Your school days. Stop. Heal. Love them. <laughs> or loathe them. I will be your teacher all the way through to GCSE. So oh, year, kill me now. You never forget them. <laughs> At Willows High in Cardiff, for an uncompromising head teacher. Girls, I don't know what's slowing you down, but it is starting to annoy me. There's a job to be done. It means everything to me that all you guys get is one thing, and that is a choice. To turn around a school that was until recently one of the worst in Wales. I think an education should give every child a chance. I don't think it's fair that actually your postcode can determine your life chances. But when you're dealing with teenagers... She's the God Assembly! Life's never straightforward. We're Switzerland. New Zealand. There was somewhere like that, though, wasn't there? We filmed over a year to find out what life is really like in one of our secondary schools. For the teachers... <laughs> so everyone in the department is ganging up on your son. And the kids at the very start of adult life. Come in and damage any more school problems. How am I damaging staff? I want the right staff in my school, people that genuinely want to champion the underdog. Oh, it's gross. They give everything to the children of their school. Give me a high five. Excellent. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> When a child makes it against all the odds, it's the most rewarding thing of all. How can we get called sheep shaggers? There are like five million other questions you could have asked me. Why did you come up with that one? <laughs>
all the drama people and all the like good people. Like all of his friends have passed their GCSEs and I don't think any of mine have, have they? No. <laughs> like none. Do you want to in your book? You can write that down. I'm never happier like, than I am now, do you know what I mean? Why? George is there to cheer me up, isn't she? In year 10, Tyler and his group of friends passed a number of their GCSEs early. It feels good to let a lot of the stress off. As much, I, won't, I don't think I'm as stressed as most pupils are here. She's there, do you know what I mean? Same as I'm there for her. No matter what, if one of them is upset, we always get picked up from her. Are you in love? I like to think so, yeah. I don't like saying it because most people think you can feel love at this age, but I think I do. Five times what is ten? Oh, two. Good, right? Unlike Tyler, Georgia was unsuccessful in her early attempts at GCSEs. I got proper itchy leg. Do you mean got itchy leg? Proper itchy. Yeah. Georgia, you were being my nemesis this lesson. Why is that? I'm being good. I've done all the jibs. <laughs> OK, let's stop making up words. Just because you can do one or two, we just, you know, we, it's no. our last chance to work together. I've done, I've done one, two. Georgia, we've got a maths exam tomorrow, so focus on this now, then, right? Georgia needs a grade C or above in the exam tomorrow if she's to go on to college with Tyler. Georgia can get stressed, yeah, but it is mainly just her worrying with how she's going to get her GCSEs and make sure she got everything for college. So hopefully we all get in and we can still see each other. That's 10 there. What's 2 times 10? Oh, what? Is he not focusing? I hope you're not going to do this tomorrow. No, 2 times 5, That's yeah. That's right. And both, are any of those prime? Yeah, both of them. So circle them and leave them. I'm Move on. High. I'm so paranoid about exams. I just don't think I'll ever be able to pass them. I haven't got the confidence to pass them. I don't, I don't think that. Did you get an answer for that? When's that going to go? Yeah. How, sir? How? So that's going to be useless. Everything see? has to be no one helps me. Right, thank you, my lovelies. Revise tonight, and I'll see you bright and breezy in the morning. Get out of my house. Bye. How many marks do you need to get a seat? It's the morning of the maths GCSE. Good luck, Asha. Oh, I don't, don't, want to don't be daft. Oh, You're a clever girl. Oh, Come on in, peeps. We're settling. Silence, please. Everybody set? This is not a run-through, this is not a mock, this is the real thing, OK? I want you to remember this day, right, because in a couple of years' time, when you're in your jobs, you've got a happy life, successful career, this is the day that started all of that off, right? Because this is the day that you were going to get that pass in maths, right, that C or above. You have done all the hard work. This is the time now to show everybody, to show your parents, to show me, to show the world, to show yourself what you're capable of, OK? Positive attitude, can do, and all we can ask of you is to do your best. OK? All ready? OK, you can begin. But shortly after the exam has begun, Georgia walks out. You're going to do fantastic. You just need to believe in yourself. This is going to be your time. Put your coat and everything there. You're all right. Just to let you know, I've had Georgia in with me. She's had a panic attack in the maths exam. Sit down. The clock continues to run on Georgia's exam. Yeah, all right. Nothing's worse. Listen to me, Georgia. I know, and I, I told you before, I know how much you want it. I was, so, I was so scared. I was, I was just so nervous. Even though I'd revised for the same thing, then, like, my mind just went blank. And I just sat there and thought, oh, my God, I can't do this. Listen to, listen to me. Everybody in that room 
right, that's got more confidence than you, will be feeling the same as you. That's what the mass papers are like. I just, because I tried so hard, I'm advising When I have a panic attack, like, you start, it's like you stop breathing, like, sometimes I know when they're coming, like, I feel anxious. Seriously, like, it's, it's horrible. And it feels like your lungs are going to pop. Hiya, Ju. Um, she's sat her in quite, but can you make Jim, sure Jim puts all the notes up on the doors and things about exams and expeditions and stuff? Yes, please. Thank you. Bye. Yep, yeah, bye. Mrs Ballard has allowed Georgia to complete her paper in her office under exam conditions. I think she gets panic attacks because she so wants to do well. And I think that she goes in there with all the hope you know, all the, all, the, all the intention of doing well, but actually when it really comes down, down to it in some areas, she just can't do it. Right, so you've got to decide how many Smarties you need to make it too heavy or too light. If you hold... with Smarties. <laughs> you can eat the ones that are left anyway. If a graph has positive or negative correlation, we can draw a line of best fit. It's too heavy. Right, take one out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's my times table queen. Well done, you. Thank you, sir. It's a Well done. <laughs> Brilliant. This is Georgia's paper. She was brought out by Chris having a big panic. Oh, but right, um, she sat down and managed to do a little bit, a bit more, but <laughs> Rome won't built in a day. Terrible. Yeah. I'm just terrible. But... Hey. No, I did. You don't need to see me, do you? I had a, yeah, I had a panic attack. Where am I going? They come, I think they was going around. It sounds pathetic, but it's just I see how much effort she puts in. I almost cry. <laughs> I think it's so important for Georgia that she starts to feel as if she's successful, you know, that she is doing what she's supposed to do. Otherwise, the danger is she won't get the opportunity to really show us what she's capable of. Cheer up, butch. Come here. Come here. You're going to hug me in the guitar? Put your arm around there. No, I'm not hugging the guitar. She loves stressing me out. What? She's just stressing me out. Why is it? Listen, we're gonna do it, yeah? I love you. I love you too. How are we doing, John? My math's genius. It's Wednesday morning, and a smashed window has been discovered in the performing arts department. Hi, bud. Hi, right, guy. Yeah, got some pictures from Gareth. You know, we didn't know who smashed the door. Yeah, how <laughs> was it? Ta -da. <sighs> Head of music, Mr. Ritter, is investigating which student is the culprit. That's blatantly George, isn't it? Yeah, you can see definitely. very, very the Jacket clean. as well. He's running towards it there. All these five here are nowhere near it. And he's done something. He's they're... done something, and they're all looking at the door, and they? they're all looking in that direction. It's definitely George. There's no other people around. This must have happened when we were out. Can you all chat with Ian? Yeah, I'll do. I'll tell Ian. Uh, and then we'll pick George up, and then you can decide his fate. I look forward to it. <laughs> Cheers, right. bud. No worries. It's third period, and prime suspect George is on his way to maths. Right, sit down then, George. OK, off you go. No, what do you mean, off you go? That's just not me, that's rude. Shh. No, see, my pens are stuck. I just, I like making people laugh. My miss says I'm begging for attention, but I'm not. I don't beg for attention, I just like making people laugh. Fifteen, five, ninety. Done. Despite being in top sets for all of his lessons, Year 8 George often finds himself getting into trouble with his teachers. No! Turn on a pencil. Shut up! Ah! So you've actually just stabbed him with a Did pencil? Did I just stab you? Did I just stab him? No. You stab you with a pencil. How many detentions have you had? This term, I've had not many, like five, but they've all been long ones. Last term, I was not here. Yeah. Hi, George, Mum, yeah? Yeah. Come here. Uh -huh. George's mum has been called in to discuss the incident with the window 
by assistant head, Mr Whitaker. OK, grab a chair. I'm mean, assuming that you've explained to your mum what happened. Yeah. Yeah. So explain to me. Well, I kicked the door and it smashed. OK, that is what happened. You so didn't tell me that. The like, question is why. Yeah, you didn't say it like that. You told me it was an accident. I was going to go and open it, but I felt like I wanted, like, I wanted to open it in a bit more style. Why? I didn't mean for it to break. I kicked it. Well, it wasn't a hard, like, proper kick. I only tapped it with my foot, and it cracked. Ugh. You're a bright boy. You're in set one. What I want you to do is to think quite carefully about the time you're going to give us to make up for this. So, you like the audience, don't you, George? You like the audience. Mr Ritter and Miss Windmill, OK, they're in the middle of this production. The cabaret show coming up in the next three or four weeks. What I think is that you need to be the key person working for them behind the stage. You need to be the person that does essentially whatever Mr. Ritter wants you to do. I'll do that then. OK. OK, if I can find out what day. Yeah, yeah, we'll sort that out. I'll get Mr. Roberts to give you a call. All right, George, come with me a second. George is taken back to the scene of the crime to tell head of music Mr. Ritter what's been agreed with his mum. Just the rhythm will get better, but the notes are spot on. How can I help? I just need to chat about George. Yeah, is that all right? Compromise we come up with. You've got your production coming up. Yeah. Here's your number one backstage worker. Any work you want him to do, anything you want him to carry, anything you want him to do after school, here's your man. When are you rehearsing? Tuesdays. Right, OK. So that means you're going to be Mr Ritter every Tuesday for the next, what, three weeks? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And I expect to do that as your punishment, all right? No. Right. Thank you very much. Have you got you now? Thank you, sir. Cheers, sir. George is a lovable rogue. When I was in school, I was very similar, I think, to George. I was the class clown. But then I got in with that, those group of people in music and drama that become, you know, some of my closest friends that I've still got today. And I think, and I honestly believe that's what will happen with George. He thinks I'm coming to rehearsal today. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I've got better things to do than sing and dance and stuff. <laughs> what would you rather be doing? Going out, having a game of football, or just sitting in, eating. Looking south to all the yeah, lovers. I fucked my heart. <laughs> 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 Just like Marilyn Monroe. It's the start of period six on Wednesday afternoon. Right, where's Georgia? And Georgia is not in class. Oh, look, Tia, Georgia, come here. Since her panic attack in her maths exam, the school have noticed a decline in her behaviour. It's when I'm stressed, is when the bad side of me comes out because I feel like there's no point in even trying. And I just, I kind of give up when I'm stressed or down. And that's the problem, I don't pick myself up. Right, behaviour then. <clears throat> Courtney with um, Leah and Georgia tagging along were being asses all afternoon yesterday. Georgia's truanting has caught the attention of Willow senior leadership team and head teacher Mrs. Ballard. I spent almost an hour with her in the morning going through how important it was to be in lessons, in on time. Mm. Yes, 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 I'll do it, you know. Twice I saw her, like far in the distance, and then disappear with a group. I saw Matt at the corner of my eye, and they were just avoiding the supply yeah. teachers. It's easier to be a child that actually doesn't want to do it rather than one that can't, especially around your, your friends. I think sometimes that's what enables you to hold on to your, your you know, self-esteem. I think getting Georgia to focus on the future and where she's going and actually what she could aspire to be is absolutely vital. How are you doing? I shall got a right old cob on, Christopher, is the truth. I'm fed up with all those kids truant in around like that. Georgia? Just a second. I checked the on-call sheet when I came in this morning. Yeah. You're on there, truanting with Jessica. I went truanting. What were you doing? It was Mr. Hannity. I went truanting. 
I want her to go to the um by in there. And in where? In there. I did shouldn't. And I felt really naughty for it. I felt really I felt really bad. Uh, Miss Ballard knew about it. What she's done is got caught out because it was all over her face this morning. Mrs Ballard is enlisting George's head of house, Miss Priday, to help deal with her behaviour. But, of course, she wants to progress on to college with all this new friendship group she's got. You know, the old days of the people that she used to hang around with are well over, really. I know. Well, I'm glad she's with this group that she's with. It's so much better for her. And what we've got to remember is what's our priority with this kid is her as a learner. Yeah. Mrs Ballard and Miss Priday agree that Georgia should spend three lessons in isolation as punishment for truanting. With everything that's happening at the moment, we need to keep her focused. And I think us in school and also the group of friends will help her do that. Miss, don't tell Tyler. Don't tell Tyler. You don't know I've been watching. OK, whoa, no. But why is that an issue? Because he goes mad. I feel like I've let him down. I didn't do what he wanted me to do, and so I'm disappointed. It's the end of the day, and Georgia's catching up with Tyler, who's heard about her getting into trouble. Have you to me? What is it? Was it something in lesson? Something on your phone? Was it me? It's a frustrating when she misses, like, English and maths. But I can't stop her from doing those things. She has her own mind and she can do what she wants. Why is there no point? Why? It makes me upset. The only thing I worry about is making sure that she gets the results and gets what she deserves. Guess what I'm meeting Saturday? Molly. Yeah. She liked my photo yesterday, I liked hers. Her hello, two kisses. She said hello, three kisses. I was like, hello, laughing face, four kisses. She goes, hello, five kisses. I was like, meet me Saturday, innit? She was like, all right then. I was like, you ain't gonna cancel, are you? She was like, nah. Or nah. Here's a mess today. It is mess. It's the end of the day, and Year 8 George is due to help out at the after school music club. So, tell me about George. I think what happened with the door... Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. You've messed about, so you yeah, didn't do it on paper. Yeah, OK. What's George like around the school? He's just popular with the ladies, oh, I, I think. Know. Yeah, so much older. He pays compliments. He's not one of the kids that says something and runs away. He's mature. Oh, OK. Yo, what are you saying? As well as doing his punishment, Mr Ritter also wants to get George taking part in the music club. George didn't do it on purpose, but he needs to learn that, you know, for every action he does, there's consequence. And for him, that was a big thing that he did. George, where are you? But we George. want him to be part of performing arts. And if we could just try and inspire George uh, through that, hopefully he would take that into other subjects. George! No, don't. Oh. George is here to help us. Oh. He's volunteered to come and help us. He wants to be part of this. So George is going to help set some chairs up. Good boy. Thank you, George. George, once you've done that, you may as well join in with everyone and, and actually take part, and actually right. take part in the rehearsal. No, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, Let's I'm have not. a go. Let's oh. have a go. You never know. Do me a favour. Give it a go. If you don't like it at the end, then just go. Promise? Yeah, okay, yeah. Good boy. Oh, this is fucked up. You've got to make sure that he's always got something to do. If he's finished, give him something new. Keep pushing him, because the second he's not engaged. OK, right. Everyone, come on here, get a chair. Come sit down, let's go on. He set the chairs out, looked round, and he saw air in there. And you could almost see that eureka moment on his face. OK, second time. Oh, my brother. Air 
Erin is the typical model student. Her work is always completed to the highest standard. And then there's George. He has the, the power to be that model student. You know, he's, there's no doubt that he's got the intelligence to do it. He just chooses sometimes not uh, to do it. I don't really know how to describe his personality. It's a bit just out there. And what's his reputation like with the girls? A flirter. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> someone who's on their third wheel and still isn't focused isn't someone we can have in here. Dear reading books. No. Yeah, grab one from that box. Joe, silent reading. Oh my days. <laughs> Joe. No. Oh, this is my jam, you know. It's the morning after rehearsals, and George is in music with Mr. Ritter. George. Yeah. How did you find last night? <sighs> Boring. Really? No, I'm joking. It was fun. You enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were so good yesterday, you're gonna be my volunteer. Come to the front. This is just torture. <laughs> okay, so George is gonna weigh. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's this? All right. <laughs> Gently now. I've lost the arms. Is it big enough for you? Looking fresh. <laughs> now, if you get the answer wrong, George, you get a little electrocution, OK? Don't, don't lie. Honestly, yeah. Just, uh, not much, right? A bit of, might get a bit of blood, but don't worry. George is going to take us through this PowerPoint. He's going to talk to us about instruments of the orchestra. OK, carry on. Harp, lovely instrument, the harp. The harp also known as the instrument of what? Love. Wales. Oh. OK, what do you say then? Love. Love. He looks like a harp. He's a romantic, isn't he? I am. Every girl loves me, sir. With that, that T-shirt on, they're all going to fall for you, I can tell you. Yeah, you know. Can I borrow it? <laughs> <laughs> no. I think it's so important that we understand that for some of them, they actually will mess up. And the job is not then writing those kids off, but doing something to make sure that actually they choose the right options next time. You've got bags and bags of energy. Make sure your energy is going towards the right things, not the wrong things. Sorry, miss. All you've got to do is actually have nice manners and say, actually, I've learned my lesson from it. I was an idiot. I, I, I do. I, I am an idiot. You I'm are. Sorry. <laughs> but not all the time. Uh, thank Be you, the miss. best you can. OK, sorry again. How loud do you find the exam? <laughs> Hard towards the back. Hard? Is that with an H or an A? I'll say it's my accent, shall I? You should be very proud of your Welsh accent, because we are Welsh through and through. Don't ever be ashamed of it. No, you still pronounce your H's. So how was the exam? Hard. It's been three weeks since her exam, and Georgia's mood at school hasn't improved. I just, I just want to quit school. Oh, come on I just now. can't feel like I'm failing at everything. Oh, don't be silly now. Last 12 months, exactly. you've turned it's yourself like, right round. No, no one's noticing. Oh. And they're just throwing it back Excuse in my face. Excuse me? No one's noticing. No, I know like you are, but no one else is, and they're oh, all they just are. throwing it back in my face yeah. when I'm trying. Not everyone can all be good at the same things, yeah? Now, you've got qualities other people won't be good at, right? You know, I wish I could be slimmer in the world. It's not going to happen, is it? Mm. Right? A smile. It's a joke. You're supposed to smile, OK? <laughs> right? We're all good at different things. Mm. Pedwar and Sothair and Gymraeg. Four, four adjectives in Welsh. What is an adjective? Luciana only. And if anybody else shouts out, you're dead meat. Yeah, like a pork pie. Mm. If I had two fifths, Gabby, how much more do I need? Three, yeah? OK, we're on with that. It's just after lunch, and Georgia has left her RE class without permission. 
Georgia, it'd be nice to come pick you up. What's the matter? What's happening? Stay with me a minute. I want to find out what's going on. I want to go out. What's the matter? Stay with me. What's the matter? No, I need to find my head of house, please. All right, go see if you can find her. Georgia, she's in the head of house office. My mood swings are terrible. I'll just feel sad for no reason. Everything will go bad. Like, I could drop a cup of juice, and that's the worst thing in the world. When she's quiet, she just don't know what she's thinking. It makes me upset because I just want to make sure she's okay and sometimes it's hard to get out of what's wrong. My mum realised the way I was acting and she um, took me to the doctors. It said that I was depression and anxiety and I'm like, like I felt ashamed, like I didn't want to tell anyone. I don't think I do cope, like I just hold it in and then I'll just explode, like, all these problems will just come out. <laughs> I can't move. I can't do Harry anymore. I need to quit. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. No, I quit, Amy. I can't. No, I quit because of the way she treats me. I can't do it. No, I miss. I quit it. I can't. I... No, I am. I'm quitting it. As Georgia's head of house, I'm responsible for everything really to do with Georgia, her welfare, her progress, her general well-being, everything. There is lots of pressure on the Year 11s now to get good grades. And leading up to exams, they do get more stressed about it. It is affecting her, it is upsetting her, and it does, you know, affect her work sometimes, I think. I'm stressed, Ty. I didn't mean to snap you. When she's stressed, a little problem could be a massive problem to her. It seems like one thing after another gets worse and worse. And it's just hard to try and get into it and make her realise that she can be happy and there is light at the end. with the extraordinary progress that you've made, that I'm going to be a buying a banner again in the summer that says, best results ever in the history of this, this school. It's Friday morning. Year 11 are in assembly with head teacher Mrs Ballard. If you are somebody that you think something's stopping you and no one's picked it up, there's some reason that you're not going forward, whether it's a personal one or actually whether it's caused by a particular subject that you're not very good at, come and knock my door and tell me because it's not too late for us to do something about it. Do the questions tell you where to look? Have a look. What lines are we looking at? Uh, Georgia. Sorry. Right, looking at this then. It's period one. And Georgia's in English with Miss Priday. Can I go to the office, please? I Why? I need some I just got a bandage. No, no, no. Oh, you should I got a bandage. Oh, my arm. I got a bandage on my arm. Go by the door. I'm not just letting you go for nothing. No, I just not I know, but... It's not me. What did you need a bandage for? My arm. Show me. No. What have you done? Georgia, come on. Um, why, why, why did you do I'm that? Just depressed. I'm just Why? I'm just depressed. I'm mm? stressed. Just what? What was it? I just don't think I can do school anymore. Hey, that's I silly. Just that is school. silly. Hey, don't even think that, right? Yeah. Don't you dare even think that. OK. All right? Yeah. Let me see. When did you do that? Yesterday. The first ever time I saw hands, I was about... 13. Have you shown anyone else? Hello. Right, come in here, I'll give you a note. Thanks. I kept it a secret because every single time I'd done it, I felt ashamed. But then, when, like, when something bad happens in life, that's the first thing you turn to, like, and that makes you feel like you deserve to have those scars and you deserve to be ashamed of it. Right, go you down to Miss Davis, OK? Yeah. Because she's got stuff down there that's more private, eh? Thank you. OK. Right, then, have a look at the board for me, please. When I, when I do it, I'm literally like a robot. Your mind goes blank. 
And then afterwards, I just I got no emotion at all, nothing. It's my way of running away from my problems. But then, in reality, it doesn't help anything. It's hard, like, I just wish I was, like, a little girl again. <laughs> I want to quit school. <gasps> Don't you dare do that. That'd be the worst thing you'll ever do. Not good enough for it. Oh, you're feeling all like that, then, are you? Why, are you getting stressed out about things, are you? Yeah. About work and that? Yeah. But definitely, to finish school would be the worst thing you could do, you know that? Yeah. yeah. As a head of house, it's really important that I get the right support network set up for every pupil, you know. If they need support at home, if we need to contact social workers or if we need to contact counsellors or anything like that, we have to make sure we've got the right people lined up for them to cater for their needs, really. I know she was worried. She was really anxious in that yesterday. But um, if you want us to get any counselling for her in school, you know, if the GP one isn't working out or she can't make it to those ones, I can always try and get her in to see the counsellor that comes into school, because he's lovely. The school and George's parents arranged to meet at home to discuss a plan for her future well-being. OK, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye, bye when I can see Georgia struggling, and she can be heartbreaking. You know, it's heartbreaking that somebody that actually has got such great potential, that wants it so badly, as those moments of absolute despair that she just believes that she can't. You all right, guys? Hello. 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 That's nice. Thank you. Hello, Sean. Hello, hello. Sensible, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Norman. <laughs> we all need one. We're <laughs> not going to get one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> another opening, another show. Emphasise these words. It's three weeks since George first had to help out at Mr. Ritter's after school music club. And so far, he hasn't missed a session. The beat, the beat is, is that, OK? That's the pulse. Now, every other one... The only reason I went is because you was here. So... That's a compliment. Oh, thanks. Yo. Are you going to kiss me? <laughs> no! I shall this then. She fancies me. And I fancy her. Do you like him? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's just the way he is. It's hard to explain. Do you know when you like someone but you don't know why you like someone? That's what it is. George, you ready? George! Yeah, I'm ready! You are not here to flirt with girls. <laughs> OK, OK. Eric, I am. he is not here to flirt with you. It's all about influence at the moment. Having the right type of friendship group uh, is key to a student's success. Here we go. Quiet. Erin, give me a kiss. No. no. Oh. I told my mum. <laughs> she said, who are you on the phone to, George? My girlfriend. <laughs> I told my auntie. She said you're pretty. <laughs> is he yet? Is he yet? Is he yet? whether the carrot was the rehearsal or because there was a girl there. You know, he was still there, out of hours, doing something that he wouldn't normally do, taking him out of his comfort zone. Erin, give me a kiss. It's still a victory, I think, for us. He was in school doing something positive, and I think that's something to be praised. Guys, settle, please. Come on. You're going to work so hard, you're going to be glad the weekend's going to come. Oh, I was just say that. Come on, right. Over the last few weeks, George and Erin have become closer. Please stop staring at me. I'm listening. You don't have to stare at me. Yo, don't even. Okay, all the work that we've been doing, all the work on similes and metaphors that we've done in our description. I'm better behaved sat next to her than I am sat with all the boys. Because she's. I don't know, just. Less hype around it. 
I'm just gonna start one of them. No, no, no. You need a green pen. A green. Five minutes talk to each other, please. Do you think that maybe you're quite a good influence on George? Yeah. Definitely. In what way? I would like help him work and that. And then we actually get his work done and realise what he's capable of. That sentence is awesome. That simile is amazing. Who do you like? Oh, he does this all Who the time. Who do you to actually me. love? Come on. No. Oh. Don't be boring, Erin. Don't call me boring. Don't be boring. Okay, you. Right then, we had a good chat with your mum, and we were actually saying to your mum how proud we were of you for yeah. you turning it all around. Because you had some crap to put up with, basically, mm. didn't you? There was lots of issues. It's just two weeks until the end of term, and Georgia is catching up with her welfare officer, Vicky, and head of house, Miss Priday. She's just worried about you, Mum. She wants you to do the best that you can yeah. now. You know, which is the same for us. You know, yeah. that's, all, that's all I want, is you to achieve your best. I'd rather you come and go blah, 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 <laughs> to me than go off and do something silly. Yeah. yeah. It was like telling my mum, telling Miss Priday because of how close she was, and she, like, persuaded me into telling my mum, like, and then also Tyler as well. But I think if I didn't have their support, I don't think I, I would have ever stopped. I'm crossing everything now that you've passed this maths exam. I just want to pass. Yeah, exactly, and that's a good attitude, and isn't it? I just, I think I just... Are you actually proud of yourself? I don't know. You, you should, should be. be. I, I, I am a little bit. I know, like, I did turn it around in the last, like, few weeks of year mm. 10, but it, that weren't good enough. Mm. Maybe that's what you needed, a bit yeah. of a kick mm. up the bum. Mm. I think, yeah, and the lecture all the way home from Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a drastic change in Georgia. She always picks herself up when she's down, which is good. She keeps on trying, which you've always done. But now she's actually pushing forward from trying and she really wants to do well. <laughs> Mrs Ballard has asked to see Georgia in her office. I'm sort of desperate to see how you're, you're going in things. Uh, recently, I've been a lot better, but it's because I didn't sit there and think to myself, Maybe there is something wrong, but now I've like realised there is, and like I'm getting help for it. I'm like concentrating a lot more on the good stuff instead of focusing on the negative. For the next six months while you're still at school, the more we can pour at you to get you feeling right about that, because otherwise, once you finish that sitting, you're in the big outside side round. It'll be something that affects you yeah. in your life. I think we live in a world now that actually there's loads of pressure on kids, pressure to do well at school, and I think that actually it's so important that actually pupils are able to express themselves and to speak to people they trust, but even more importantly, that those members of staff are actually trained to be able to deal with those situations and actually make sure that that child gets the right help. If I asked you to describe yourself in 10 words, what would it be? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia and Tyler are now applying for college and preparing for upcoming interviews. Punk <laughs> Joy, you're going to see next to you. What's that? You turn up on time. Oh, yeah. I feel a lot happier now and I feel a lot more confident to go into college than I thought I would be. Like, if you asked me a year ago, I would have told you I'm not going. You know university? What university are you going to go to? Zimbabwe. What? So I'm fucking staying in Cardiff for you and you're just going to go <laughs> somewhere else? I'm joking. Well, I want to go to Cardiff University, but if you're going elsewhere, I'll go elsewhere. Because <laughs> I was going to be nice and stay in Cardiff for you. Hello. <laughs> 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 get into nice. university. <laughs> you got the rest of your life. Tyler is the most supportive person I've ever met. I don't think I've ever gone a day without him making me smile. Even if I'm on my worst days and I'm so down, you all succeed to make me smile. And that is literally one of the best things about our relationship is how supportive he is. Mm -hmm.
Maths. I passed my maths! <laughs> Yay! I passed my maths. <laughs> You've changed your life with those results. Yeah, I know. I don't care what anyone says. No other school in way, it, maybe even in the UK, have got teachers like we have. <laughs> I know.